Hey guys, it's Shaggy here, hey, 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 G Unit. Welcome to episode 14 of the 60 Plus Show. And today we're using Vector with a fast magnet suppressor for the attachments. And I believe the perks are lightweight, hard line, cold blooded toughness, and dexterity with no lethals and no, no, no tacticals. And as you can see, I guess, I guess it's a great change from the uh, just the regular MSMC MP7 gameplays that I've posted. So this is the first time I'm posting a gameplay with the Vector K10. And the only reason why I'm using it on this uh, video is because I was going for the gold camo. I wasn't intentionally going for the 60 plus, but I ended up getting 69 kills. I suppose I put it in the episode. I mean, previously I have got a lot of gameplays with lower streaks and getting 60 plus, but I didn't feel like it was uh, entertaining to watch. To be honest, you know, I've got like 70 kills, or 62 kills, 65 kills, 66 kills with lower streaks. But I, I don't know. I don't know if I should post that. So I just skipped all of that. And skip to this level in this prestige, I believe third prestige on this video, nearly fourth prestige. So um, yeah, as we speak right now, I'm nearly 10th prestige, level 45. So we are pretty close to uh, ending, uh, finishing off our multiplayer campaign because we're gonna hit max prestige soon enough. And how many times have I died to a sniper in this gameplay already? And I think I do die one more time to a sniper. So th th this is a pretty embarrassing start. But yeah, man, I, I guess we're we're coming near the end of the multiplayer sessions. And I did say I was going to start playing on Xbox after I finished on the PS3. I'm not too sure just yet. I'm going to take a short break, obviously, from playing, uh, playing in general, just playing games. Because I got to really do. I got to take a break. Uh, got to calm down a bit. You got to really get some fresh air. And obviously, I got a lot of gameplay which I will be posting frequently daily. I've been pretty much uploading frequently for the past couple of weeks, anyway. So uh, hope that's okay with you guys. So most of you want to see. Uh, more more videos so that, that's great to see and obviously uh, appreciate the support you've been giving me obviously I've been not getting the similar sort of support that I was getting two years ago but still that's what's gonna happen if you leave for two years out of nowhere and coming back but anyway that's that so I'll be making a uh, pretty much a montage for the uh, whole whole campaign a whole the whole session for our black ops 2 multiplayer from the first prestige to max prestige with all the clips and obviously my montage is going to be based on crazy streaks and it's not just going to be kill feeds even though there is going to be kill feeds uh, in it it's just going to be this crazy streaks with showing showcasing you all the score streaks that have been pumping out a lot of feeds from it and obviously just just really crazy streaks in general which I feel that is need to show I guess uh, in, in a sense it's uh, difficult to pull these streaks off because um, the way I play, obviously, my game style is aggression rushing, so I'm pushing into their spawn. So I'm surrounded by multiple players and having to take them out, uh, depending on the situation, it, it, it is a pretty difficult job uh, without having any sort of cover. And coming up to that point, obviously, uh, yesterday I posted a video about head glitches, right? And in the comments section, a lot of people had a you know, discussion about if head glitching kills uh, was a legitimate way of getting kills. And, you know, so, some people had a decent arguments, and I actually understand. I obviously. And when it comes to competitive play, where head glitches, uh, in, in a sense, do get those kills because it is a competitive environment and they really don't have a choice. And I guess, in a sense, it is uh, a smart way to play because, you know, you ha you're having, you're taking cover of your body and you you have a whole uh, site in front of you which you can uh, easily work around with. And, you know, that's understandable. But the what I was trying to say yesterday is that if you're playing like that in a public lobby, this is a public lobby, right? It's it's sort of annoying because there are casual players and you know there are players out there that don't play like that. They just play because they come back from work and you know they just want to relax, you know, have a nice night off, you know, play a bit of Black Ops. And when they see head glitches coming along into their public games and really really swearing out, just like yeah, <laughs> like what I'm doing, but you know, just people that really stand in a specific spot and really do try to fuck hard, then. It, it does it does get annoying and that, 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 that was that was what I was trying to say yesterday and you know that you know I guess smart smart play in public lobby doesn't really any make sense to me because the way I play first of all I don't care about my stats I don't care about uh, the way I move you know I, I move freely I don't care about if I got any protection on my body as you see there most people would have stood behind the thing that I just went past but I just went in there and I obviously got those kills and yeah you know some of the deaths I get you you guys might not get for example there that death out most people would have wasted at the window and crouched and you know just head glitched there to wait for those two, two dudes to come through here and kill them just at the window the other side of it and, you know if I jump out so it, it, it depends on who you are and what you're why you're playing and 
if you're playing really, really competitively in, in a public game against noobs, then honestly, man, you, you got it. You got it. You might, you might as well just go competitive and get uh, go league play with a team and just uh, you know, or play game battles or play for money or whatever. You know, it's understandable because you know some people want to get those kills to level up faster. But the way I see it in my eyes, uh, my play style gets me the most points for me on, on my team. So I don't know what people are doing in order to get their kills, but they're, they're doing it wrong, you know. So I, I, my main objective on Black Ops 2 was always to get the most points in the game. It, does, it didn't really matter how many kills I got. It didn't, it didn't really matter to me how many deaths I got. But if I got the most points uh, on my team, then I, I would be satisfied because, you know, I'm getting my score per minute really high uh, up there. And obviously just pretty much going for the streaks at the same time to get, help me get those scores up. And obviously using the objectives to get the score points, to get the score streaks in order to get a higher score at the end of the game. And I did tweet out an image where I got, I think it was a domination game where I got 9,100 points. And I only got 81 kills, you know. You know, some people out there would like 150 kill gameplays. How many points did they get at the end of the game? About 5,000, 6,000, you know. So it, it does, to me, in my eyes, I think that leveling, I, I sort of rushed it, you know. Black Ops 2, it's been out for, well, it's, it's not even been out for a month, actually. It's not even 13 yet. But when is the 13 going to be out in a month in a couple of days time? And obviously, I've nearly hit max prestige. So I've did it that quickly just because of my play style. And obviously, my stats, you would be wondering what my stats are right now. You'd expect to see some really high KD. But honestly, I don't really have a high KD. I've got a lot of kills, but I don't have a high KD. Because at the same time, I've got a lot of deaths. So that, that's the sort of uh, thing I'm dealing with here. So, you know, with my play style, you're having to consequent and dying a lot, as you can see. Just going in there and dying until they spawn, but it's just a trial and error thing. It's like you gotta you gotta go in there. You, you gotta take the risk, and once you take the risk, you, you might succeed and you may not. And that's the way I've played pretty much ever since Modern Warfare 2, and you know before changing to uh, quick scoping with the intervention, which I I still can quick scope. You know I haven't really gone back on Modern Warfare 2, which I might do after I do finish and just get some quick scope and gameplays and whatnot. It's it's. Never been boring to me, and free for all quickscope and has always been fun in my eyes on Modern Warfare 2. I think free for all Modern Warfare 2 is much better than on Black Ops 2 for some reason. Black Ops 2, I think everything seems really slow, and the maps are slightly big, bigger on Model. Uh, sorry, Black Ops 2 in general. So I tried out sniping and free for all on Black Ops 2. It's really weird, man. It was nothing, nothing like Modern Warfare 2 sniping. Completely changed, man. You know what I'm saying? Completely. In this game, as you can see, I'm using a swarm. I do. I think I do get a swarm. I, I got it before, actually. Yeah, I think I got it before. But once again, I end up with 69 kills yet again for the set. Uh, I think I did get 69 kills in one of the other episodes that I posted. But yeah, man, I'm gonna be posting that montage and obviously get ready for that. And I got some crazy ass swarms that I want to be posting as well. Because uh, you may be wondering how many swarms I've got. I've got over 100 swarms now on Black Ops 2. So I don't know if that's a lot, uh, let me know if that is a lot, because if that isn't, then uh, I'll try and go for more. But uh, this is the frequent score streaks that I tend to use, because it gives me the motivation to go for them. Because if I use the lower score streaks, I feel a bit lazy, and then I don't really, you know, just, I don't really play as uh, this, you know, play like this, when it when it goes to, like, if I use a UAV, Hunter Killer, Lightning Strike, or whatever. I haven't tried out to counter UAV yet, because I haven't unlocked it. But I, sh I should actually unlock it now, because I'm level 43. But anyway, uh, for 45, 9 prestige now. So, um, yeah, man. It's going great. And uh, my review will come soon. Oh, well, not review, but I guess an overview of Black Ops 2. Uh, of my experience. Of six, well, I guess six days game time is quite a bit already for one month. So, basically, out of the month that it's been now, I've been literally playing six days of matches. So, that's not actually, you know, waiting around on my PlayStation 3. That's like actual match games played of that time so anyway hope you guys enjoyed this episode 69 kills and 11 deaths with the vector k10 as always don't forget to rate the video i'll see you guys soon check it out good night peace yeah